John Jamison, the senior. The receivers, Conrad Kinsey, Will Garrity, and Wynn Martin. First play from scrimmage here, first and 10 for Lovett. From the shotgun, he'll spread the offense wide. That's Willie Candler, the quarterback, and look to throw in the first play. Come short towards the near side where the ball is caught and taken down almost immediately after the reception was number 13. That's Mitchell Mar uh, Marino. So Marino actually getting the start here today for Lovett and immediately getting into the action here. An eight-yard catch there for Marino, and it'll be second and two for Love It. A little bit more of a conventional formation here with two backs lined up behind Candler. That will be the fullback Jameson and the halfback Haley. The ball is handed off up the middle to Haley and he gets nowhere. Tackle just beyond the line of scrimmage. In fact, he might have lost about a yard and a half there. And it will be third and about three. They'll call it third down and two here. They'll need to get to the 42 for the first down. Love it on the first possession of the game. And again from the shotgun, Candler might be looking to throw here. Three wide receivers. Candler rolls out towards the near side of the field. Throws. That's Haley. Pardon me. The catch is made. Not Haley on that play. That was Wynn Martin, the senior, who catches along the near side right at the 42 for the first down. So Wynn Martin with the first down catch, and Lovett will continue to roll here. With the ball, they'll mark it at the 45. Go ahead and give you the starting defense for Manchester. In just a minute here after this play, once again, offense spread, and that's a whistle here. Looks like we'll get a false start against Lovett. No, they call it against Manchester instead. An encroachment on the play. And so that'll set up a first and five from midfield here for Lovett as the Lions moving down somewhat efficiently so far. Once again from the shotgun, a lot of motion here. As once again, a, everyone spread out. Haley will come over towards the middle. He takes the ball and will cut up field. Past the 50, up to the 45. And that will be a gain of five. And it appears to be a first down. For again, the, one of the more talented running backs in all of AA football this season in Georgia is Haley. They do give him the first down on the play. Hits the ball spotted at the 45. And with 10.03 left to play here in the first quarter. So Lovett continues to move the ball here in the first quarter of play. Two backs now for Candler, the quarterback. He hands off again. This is Haley. Haley breaks one tackle. Cuts it past the 40. Up to the 35. 30 to the 25 before he's finally taken down. And Grant Haley again with a nice cut up field there. Able to cut in between the defense and a big gain there. Picks up about 20 yards on that one. And another first down for Lovett. As they are threatening here on their first drive. Nine and a half minutes left to go here now in the first quarter. Snap taken by Candler. Looks to pass. Here comes the defense, and he's sacked. Sack on the play. That by number seven, Quintavious Martin, the linebacker, a senior coming in and getting the hit, a big hit there. A loss of about 12 on the play, and that'll set it up a second down and 22. So Quintavious Martin coming in and getting the hit on the quarterback, Candler. And a long way to go for the first down now for Lovett. 
Second and 22, 8-15 counting here in the first quarter between Lovett and Manchester in the second round of the playoffs. This one, another snap back to throw. Pass comes short on the screen and unable to get away from the tackle. On the play was John Jamison, the fullback, and Jamison shaken up on the play. And Jamison appears to be in some visible pain on the field. So a timeout on the field with 8.32 left to play. And all of a sudden, this drive, which looked promising early on for Lovett, as Jamison will get up. And this drive has stalled a little bit now. The ball back of the 44. So this will be a third down and 29 for Lovett here. And again, after a strong start, they have stalled on this drive. Let's see what happens here on third and very long. And it looks like we might have, again, another defensive penalty here. Let's see if they call this on the offense. The refs will all gather, and they will call an encroachment on the defense. As it looks like the initial step off sides there was by DeAndre Mitchell, the defensive tackle. And caused one of the Lovett offensive linemen to fall backwards. So that'll shorten things up a little bit here, but still an imposing third and 24 on the horizon for Lovett. From the shotgun, snap is taken by the quarterback, Candler. Gets a few yards, but taken down just beyond the 40 as he moves the ball up to about the 39-yard line. And with eight minutes left, an early decision... for head coach Mike Muschamp. He needs to decide whether he is in four down territory here and it looks like that's gonna be his decision. They'll see if they can at least move the ball up a little. So fourth and 24, 7.50 to play. Snap taken, oh no, it is punted. A little bit of a pooch punt there. And it will go down, roll inside the 10 and a good job on the punt there by Actually, the quarterback who uh, delivered the punt there, Candler. Candler is the team's backup punter. Usually when Martin takes punt the punts, but uh, instead he punts it down to the nine-yard line, and that's where Manchester will begin its first drive of the game. Well, go ahead and get the starters for Manchester here. Again, that split-back Veer offense. We'll see what they can do here today. A lot of runs for... This Manchester Blue Devils offense. Quarterback Quintarius Prather, the junior, will be flanked on either side by Tavares Allman and Anthony Bell. Bell, a freshman running back. And the first handoff of the game here, taken up the middle and moved up to about the 14-yard line for a gain of five. I believe that was the freshman Anthony Bell. Indeed it was for that gain of five. Wide receivers are Justin Jackson, number five, and Damian Turner, number six. Tight end is Travier Bryant, a senior, number 16. And the offensive line, Denzel Jackson, Lazarick Lovett, Darius Alford, Shonarick Carter, and Griffin Gibson will be the center. Another handoff here to Bell. Bell cuts it past the 20. He has wide open field in front of him to the 30, to the 40, to the 50, past midfield, and finally taken down just beyond the 40-yard line as he took it all the way up to the 36. A huge gain on second and five. Anthony Bell is able to get into Lovett territory here. And all of a sudden now we're getting a threatening attack early on by Manchester. So Lovett pinned Manchester deep on the punt, but Manchester running it well here, and another nice handoff taken up the middle, this time to the other running back, Tavares Allman, and he will be dragged down at the 33 for a gain of four. Allman's first touch of the game after two successful runs to start the contest for his teammate, Anthony Bell. Brought down by number 55, John Coletti. So this will be second down... And about five. 
Quarterback Quintarius Prather takes the snap from under center. And he will keep it this time. No, he hands up up the middle. And another nice gain there. Should be close to a first down. And in fact, they will give the first down there. That was Anthony Bell again for his third carry. Picked up five for the first down there. It'll be first and 10 with 6.13 remaining. In the first quarter for Manchester, driving here on the Lovett 26 yard line. Toss wide and taken down this time behind the line of scrimmage is the third running back, Devontae Davis, the junior. Might have just got him back to the line of scrimmage. And it looks like he picked up about half a yard on the play, so it'll be a second down and roughly 10 yards still to go. Again, we're seeing already Manchester and that split back veer has been effective. This time a handoff up the middle. Nice job cutting forward on the play and taking it down to the 18-yard line this time. That was Anthony Bell who has been very effective in the early going here. And that will set up a third and three from about, they'll call it the 19. And this is a big play early on in this game with Manchester driving. See if Lovett can get in. We're going to get some motion on the line, and let's see who this one's against. And Manchester, if it is against, yeah, they'll call it a false start on the Blue Devils there, and that's going to back Manchester up and make this a much less manageable third and eight now as they'll move back to the 24-yard line. So a costly... Jump there from Manchester. And now with 5.05 remaining here in the first quarter. See if the Blue Devils can try and break through here. Here comes the third and eight. Another handoff up the middle and taken through. That will be very close to a first down. As that time it was Devontae Davis with a successful gain. Let's see where they spot the ball. Looks like it's going to be just short. They might have to uh, measure this one here. They'll spot it at the 17. So yeah, that's going to be a shade short. It's going to be fourth and a short one. And with Manchester, easy decision here with the way they've been running the ball. They're going to go for it. Fourth and one from the Lovett. 17 early play here and. Taking it up the middle is a quarterback, Quintarius Prather. And let's see where they spot this one. It'll be close. He got stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Did he get enough of a push to get the first down? It does not appear so from up here. Quarterback Quintarius Prather keeps the ball. Tackle made by a pride of line defenders. And it looks like they will try and measure this one out. And here it comes. A big early measurement here for both teams in a scoreless ball game. It's going to be about as close as close gets. And it is just short by about half a chain link. And with 4.05 left, love it with a big stop on fourth and one. And the Lions will get the ball back. That was an eyelash shy of being a first down sneak for Quintarius Prather, but instead the Lions will get the ball back on the turnover on downs. And love it. We'll begin their second drive of the game starting from their own roughly 16-yard line. A huge stop there on the collision at the line. So Lovett begins their second drive. Again, lots of motion for Lovett here on their offense. From the shotgun, here's Candler with Haley in motion. He'll hand off to Haley. No, he keeps it this time. The throw comes out to the near side where it's caught. And a nice jump to move forward on the play. And gain a couple extra yards for Jack McGranahan, the junior. Quarterback Willie Candler rolls out to his right. Throws a so uh, strike. good composure play. A little bit of composure there for Candler. 
And a good job by McGranahan to come along the outside and make the catch. First down for the Lions. So a pickup of about 12 on that, and there'll be a first down for Lovett. With 3.45 left in the first quarter of a scoreless game between Lovett and Manchester here in the second round. Haley dragged down behind the line of scrimmage after the handoff. Gets taken down. They'll mark him at the 19. So a loss of nine on the play. Well, both of these teams have had a lot of rhythm offensively so far. But neither has really been able to break through and both have had a couple of costly losses. So second, and they'll call it second and 15 now. Pardon me, they mark it at the 24, so it was a loss of five. This time a keeper for Candler. Candler goes up the middle, takes it past the 35, all the way up to the 40. That'll be a gain of 16 and a first down for Lovett. Willie Candler keeps the ball and rushes to the left. Reminder to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports, hashtag GHSA football. And also remember, for all the best coverage of Georgia football throughout the playoffs, make sure to go to WSBTV.com. And as always, for live scoring and highlights of GSA, GHSA playoffs produced on Play on Sports, go to www.playonsports.com slash football playoffs. 2.49 left here in the first half. First and 10 from the 41 for Lovett. Candler looking to throw here. Wide open in the middle of the field past the 50. Is number 88 and flags fly wildly here as Will Garrity makes the catch. And it looks like it'll stand, I believe. Candler's pass is complete to number 38, Andrew. This is going to be a personal foul that might be added on on the top here. We'll see what the call is. He was hit first. See what the flag is here. Two thirty-five left, and it will go against Manchester. And it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet helmet hit, indeed. So that'll be a fifteen-yard personal foul, tacked on on top of a pretty healthy gain to begin with. And that'll spot the ball all the way up at the 32-yard line here for Lovett. And that will be a costly play for Manchester. Not only on the initial throw. That's left again wide open over the middle. There's Will Garrity. Garrity, excuse me, but the penalty adds on another 15 on top. So from the 32-yard line, first and 10 for Lovett. Tight set here is the handoff over the middle. And picking up about two on the play is Arthur Winborn, his first touch of the game. See, Winborn provides a little something different at running back than you see from Grant Haley, who's a little bit more of a scat back, if you will. Winborn seems to be a bit more of the power guy, although he had a pretty nice game the other day, too during last week's victory for Lovett over Kusa. Winborn had a touchdown reception in that game. From the shotgun, Candler looks to throw, comes near side, completes the pass, that one to Marino, and he's wrestled down out of bounds. Pardon me, that's Conrad Kinsey, excuse me, Conrad Kinsey who made the catch. Gets up to the 21 yard line on the play, so that will be a gain of nine and a first down for Lovett as they continue to move the ball well. Again, both of these teams have moved the ball well so far today, but they've also had their struggles once they've got in towards the red zone, not necessarily in the red zone, but towards the red zone, and we'll see if those struggles continue here for Lovett. Snap taken by Candler, fake on the handoff, instead gives it to Haley who takes it up to the 15, gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up a second down and four as Haley runs the ball well again there. Grant Haley takes the ball straight Grant ahead. Haley, the junior, mentioned in the pregame. Haley, referred to as a Division I type talent, 
Maybe a guy who you could see at an SEC school potentially one day. And so far today has had a couple of nice runs. So he'll spread out wide here. As a three wide receiver set. One back and now the remaining back will break out wide as the backfield open for the quarterback Candler who takes the snap, looks to throw, comes near side. Finds the running back who cuts it in towards the pylon and he is just shy of the end zone as he'll be called out at the one yard line. That was John Jamison, the fullback, who ended up spreading out wide after initially starting on the backfield and on a little bit of a screen was able to take it all the way down to the one that'll set up a first down in a couple of goal line plays coming up here for Love It with a chance to take the lead. Quarterback keeper Candler taking it towards the goal line and he is in for the touchdown. So on the quarterback keeper Willie Candler the sophomore strikes with his first score of the game. And Lovett takes a 6 to nothing lead over Manchester. Willie Candler keeps the ball. Follows a great push from his offensive line. So Candler, who had a nice week last week, strikes again here for Candler. That is his sixth rushing touchdown of the season. So for the extra point now. It's up on the way and good. That was number 19, Brendan McGowan on the extra point. And that extends Lovett's lead to seven to nothing. So on the quarterback keeper from the goal line. Lovett takes the, pardon me, it missed, I'm sorry. That one missed just wide. So six to nothing. McGowan misses there. A rare miss for McGowan. Who has been very good this season. And so six to nothing the score. Once again, a reminder to join the conversation about high school sports. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports hashtag GHSA football. Six to nothing to score here from Atlanta, Georgia. We're at Lovett High School. On Conley Oakley Field, home of the Lovett Lions, as they have jumped out to a six to nothing lead. Lovett set to kick off. One man back to return from Manchester. And the kickoff, it's a short kick. And taken at the 36, and the play blown dead there. So Jermaine Williams fields it cleanly, and Manchester will take over from the 36. Well, in Manchester's first drive, they ran the ball well up until, really, they were derailed by a false start penalty that set up a third and long. They made it a fourth and one and could not convert on a quarterback keeper attempt by Prather, the quarterback. This time, that run got nowhere. Looked like that was Anthony Bell again, who's been strong with the ball so far today, but couldn't get past the line of scrimmage that time. And the possession remains at the 36 here for Manchester with 30 seconds left. In the first quarter. Brant Wells had the tackle on that one. Is Again, a short run there. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage is emerging from the Bottom of the pile was Devontae, pardon me, that was Prather, the quarterback on the keeper. And that will mark the end of the first quarter of action here. So it'll be third and ten coming up when we resume play for the second quarter. Once again, after one, the score, love it six, Manchester nothing. And so far, a pretty hotly contested game by both of these games, or both of these teams, excuse me. Although Manchester kind of feels like they're a little bit on a teetering point here right now 
I still have a big third and ten coming up. They ran the ball very well in the first drive behind freshman Anthony Bell, who had a big run at one point in the first quarter for them. But we're unable to cash in, turning the ball over on downs, and that set up a drive for Lovett that took them all the way down the field before, again, Lovett quarterback. Willie Candler was able to run it in from a yard out to put Lovett on the board. So six to nothing is where we stand. Again, we invite you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play On Sports, hashtag GHSA football for all the best coverage of Georgia football throughout the playoffs. Make sure that you go to WSBTV.com. And as always, for live scoring and highlights of the GHSA playoffs, produced on Play On Sports, go to www.playonsports.com slash football playoffs. Third and ten to start the second quarter for Manchester from the Lovett 36. Six to nothing, Lovett with the lead. And here comes the throw, swung out to the far side. Contact there, let's see if there's a flag. No flag on the play. As Prether was looking on the wide side of the field there for Damian Turner, could not find him, and that'll force a punt here for the Blue Devils. As Lovett set to return. Lovett now moving from right to left on your computer screens. And again, Lovett in the dark blue home uniforms. The White uniforms for Manchester today with the silver helmets. Here comes the punt. Snap a little bit high, but settled down and sent away by the punter. Turner goes untouched and is downed at the 27-yard line. So with 11.46, Lovett regains possession here following their score on their second drive of the game. So first and ten for Lovett here. And so far today, the Lions have really had a pretty good mix of both a solid passing game and some successful runs as well. In fact, they've used the screen pass fairly well early on in this one. Has quarterback Willie Candler, a late arrival to the huddle, relays the play and we'll get set to go here. Third drive of the game for Love at 11.46 remaining in the second quarter. Candler keeps it and comes open along the near side, barging past the 30 all the way up to the 33-yard line where he's taken down by three Manchester players. Looked like he ran into his receiver throwing a block on the play. But he's able to still pick up a pretty successful game. Keon Thompson, one of the players credited with the tackle there for Manchester. So a seven-yard gain, second and three from the 34 for Lovett. Candler under center. Man comes in motion towards the far side of the field. Now the handoff comes up the middle. And a dive forward to the 36-yard line. Gain of two on the play, and that'll set up a third down and one. That was Grant Healy. Pardon me, Grant Haley, who had the uh, rush there. And they'll call him just shy of the 38. And no, they give him the first down on the play. Grant Haley picks up just enough for a so Haley gets down. the first down. So first and 10 from the 37 now. Again, a... Spread set here. Although coming towards the near side now is the fullback, Jamison. Here comes the handoff. No, a keeper there for Candler again, and a flag thrown, and I believe that's going to be a personal foul. Might be a face mask as Candler took it up to the 39 for a gain of two, and it looks like we're going to get a personal foul here on the play. Indeed we will. Yep, a face mask. Believe that was number seven who got a hold of the face mask. Quintavious Martin on the tackle. And so that'll put another Camera's run picks up the yard. 
Carter Maine looks like they're going to keep the ball there. So it'll be a first and three from the 44 now. Five-yard face mask on the play. Now Candler hands off. The ball comes near side and a good job there. Loss of, looked like about a loss of one, maybe back to the line of scrimmage as Spencer Lee is taken down on the run. Damian Turner with the tackle on the play. Ten minutes left to go here in the second quarter. It'll bring up a second down and four for Lovett. From the 43-yard line. Snap taken. And Candler taken down well in the backfield. Might have been a broken play there as he gets taken down all the way at the 35-yard line. And that'll bring up the third down and 12 now. So a long way for Love to go here. Some good defense there by Manchester. Third and 12 from the 35. Six to nothing the score. Love it with the lead here. But a long way to go for a first down. Just over nine minutes left in the second quarter. Candler takes a snap with his offense spread wide. Looking for an open man. Throws towards the near side. He has one. Where the ball is taken there and cutting up field towards the 50 for a first down. As he crosses and goes to the 49. That was number 38, Andrew Single. Siegel, the senior, with the first down reception. They'll spot it right at midfield. And that is a big first down there. So Siegel with a timely reception there and a nice run to get the first down. Working quickly now, Kendler hands off here. Ball comes towards the near side on the handoff before Haley is wrestled out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Gain of seven on the play, so that'll bring down, uh, bring up a part of me a second down and three. Monta Copeland had the tackle on the play. So this will be a second down and three from the 42. Handoff, no, kicked by Candler again. This time he'll cut forward up past the 40, up to the 35 where he's knocked out of bounds on the play. This time Willie Candler makes for the left side. Tackle is by number 24, DeAndre Mitchell. DeAndre Mitchell had the hit on that one. And again, that'll be another first down as Lovett continues to move the ball well here in the second quarter. Spencer Lee checking back into the game now for Love It on the offensive end. So first and 10 from the 35. Shotgun snap. Handoff goes up the middle. And cutting past the 32, the 25 roughly, they'll call it the 26, is Arthur Winborn, the running back. Handoff. So Winborn with a gain of nine on the play. Seven fifty left now in the second quarter. Six nothing. Love it. As Love it doing it on their home field so far today, and threatening to score again here against Manchester. Second down and one from the twenty-six yard line. Another shotgun snap here. Candler has it. He'll keep it. Take it up the middle, but nowhere to go. And he has stopped well short of the first down. Looks like he got back to the line of scrimmage, so it'll be third and one now from the 26. So big third and one here. Manchester needs the stop. Third and one. Here's the snap. Candler keeps it. He'll try and go forward. He's taken down behind the line of scrimmage. 
Another penetrating defensive play there by Quintavious Martin, who has been all over the field so far. It'll be a loss of about two on the play, and that'll set up a fourth down and three. And a timeout called by Lovett. So Lovett wants the timeout here. They'll discuss how they'll approach this fourth down play. And it would appear, you'd think if they call the timeout and by the location of the ball on the field, that there's a good chance they're going to try and go for it here. Again, it'll be fourth and, th three, fourth and three from the 28. Again, a reminder to join the conversation about high school sports. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports. Hashtag GHSA football. Timeout here called by Love. It was 644 remaining in the second quarter. A fourth and three coming up for Love. It following the timeout from the Manchester 28. And again, you get the feeling early on this could be another big play here for both of these teams. If you're Manchester and you can get this fourth down stop, give your offense a chance to drive down the field before the end of the first half and maybe try and uh, even this game up, if not take the lead. Meanwhile, if you're Love, it. You can kind of keep the control of this game in your favor if you're able to get this first down here. Eat up a little bit more clock. Remind, remember that Lovett has controlled possession for the majority of this second quarter so far, and in fact, for the majority of this game. So this will bring up a fourth and three, and it appears that Lovett will go for it. Again, quarterback Willie Candler does have the ability to uh, punt the ball as we saw before. But. And a whistle blows again here. And I believe this time a timeout called. This time by Manchester. You know, interesting job there by uh, Greg Oglesby, the head coach for Manchester who saw the formation, got a chance, saw the timeout, saw the formation that Lovett came out in, and then called the timeout and had a chance for his defense to react. Not sure if he saw something in the formation that he didn't like, that he didn't want his team to uh, come out with, or defensively, or if he just wanted to get a look one way or the other, but one way or another, he calls the timeout here, will get a chance for his team to reset, and now it will be up to... Uh, Love it to see if they can get the first down. They're back out already. Here comes Manchester once again. 6.43 left in the second half. Fourth and three from the 28 for Love it. They need to get to the 25-yard line for the first down. Looks like we'll get another shotgun snap here for Willie Candler. Only man in the backfield besides Candler is a fullback, Jameson. Candler takes the snap. He'll look to throw. Throws it deep over towards the end zone. A little bit long and just unable to make the diving catch on the far side of the field. They were going for it all. That was number 18, Win Martin. And Martin had a beat on his man, but the throw was just long by the quarterback, Candler. And that will be a turnover on down. So first and 10 coming up here for Manchester from their own 28-yard line with 6.38 left in the first half. Good thought there. For Manchester, pardon me, for Lovett and for Candler, they had the man open. So Manchester takes over, handoff to Bell, and he's stopped right behind the line of scrimmage, maybe right at the line of scrimmage there. So it'll be second down and 10. After a first drive where Anthony Bell ran all over Lovett. Lovett has done a much better job since controlling Bell in particular in the Manchester running game as a whole. In fact, I'm not sure we've seen Manchester even try to throw the ball yet. Here you go. This might be the first opportunity to throw this time. Comes near sign. It's a hook and ladder play. And holding possession is coming along the outside. What a play there. You don't see that one a whole lot. Getting credit with the uh, reception there will be Bell who came along the outside. And I believe took the toss from number 19. 
That might have been a tra Travier Bryant there, if I'm not mistaken. He was finally pushed out of bounds by Spencer Lee, but a first down and a big gain there. Um, quite an interesting little play there for Manchester. So the Blue Devils starting to show some life here with 5.56 remaining. This time stopped right at the line of scrimmage and pushed backwards on the play is Tavares Allman, who's had a quiet day so far, the junior. They'll call him down at the 40. So back to the line of scrimmage. And this will be a second down and 10. That was Patrick Keogh and John Coletti who had the tackle on the play. So good discipline on the line of scrimmage there for Lovett. Second down and 10 for Manchester. And another collision at the line of scrimmage and nothing to show for it for Manchester. Right now, Lovett winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. Is that time Anthony Bell stopped once again? Anthony Bell goes straight ahead and is tackled by number 15, Brent Wells. Well, early on, the success for this running game for Manchester has been when they've taken it to the outside. As right now, Lovett has clogged the middle of this field. Three down linemen for Lovett. As dropping back, passing deep along the far side and making the catch for Manchester is number six, Damian Turner. Nice pass there by Quintarius Prather who went deep along the far side of the field, moves it all the way up to the 33-yard line. We'll call it the 34, where it'll be first and 10, second time today in Lovett territory for Manchester. And it's been their passing game that's gotten them downfield this time. 434 left, handoff to Bell. He is stuffed to the line of scrimmage once again, maybe picked up a yard. So that'll bring up a second down and nine from the 33. 4.15 left here in the first half. Six nothing, love it, but Manchester threatening. Round two of the GHSA playoffs. Comes along the outside, wide open pass along the middle of the field to Bell, and Bell taken down right in front of the 20 yard line. So he'll pick up about 11 on that play. Another good pass there for Prather. Looks like he got it up to the 20. Indeed he did, and it'll be another first down for Manchester. Three forty-five left to play. Clock stopped for now. Now it'll start up. Manchester trying to get on the board for the first time today. Prather under center. Takes a snap. Rolls to his left. Keeps it this time as he cuts towards the first down marker. Gets past it inside the 10 to the 5 yard line. A pickup of about 15 on the play for Prather on the quarterback keeper on an option. And he will set up a first down and goal from the five-yard line for Manchester. So Manchester has picked the intensity up on this drive. The ball spotted actually inside the five, right in front of the four-yard line with 327 left in the first half now. Prather will keep it, I believe, and a flag thrown. Or do they say a fumble? No, a fumble. And let's see who got the recovery here as the refs will sort this one out. A fumble just inside the four. And it is. Love it ball. Love it recovers. And Manchester will rue that one when they look back on it. That is a tough fumble there on the play. And Love it recovers to avert what was a golden scoring opportunity for Manchester. Boy, that is one that will be tough to swallow for this Manchester team as they try to run it up the middle. And love it, able to force the fumble on the play. And they will take over from their own five-yard line. 
3.20 left in the first half. Let's see if Lovett tries to move down the field one more time here. Snap taken, handoff up the middle and forward. Not much of a gain, maybe to the six on the play for Haley. Boy, that'll be a costly one here. And again, you look at football games and you look for turning points, and that could certainly be a big one. But the second time now that Manchester is driven deep into Lovett territory and come away with nothing. Under three minutes left now. It'll be a second down and 11. They say the runner lost a yard on the previous play, and this will be another stuff at the line. Looks like they'll spot it at the two, so a loss of two more. It'll set up a third down and 13. And right now, if you're love it, if you can find a way to just get out of this half without allowing a score, you would be more than happy. So third and 13 from the two now for love it as they'll play with their backs up against their own end zone. Two fourteen left. Under center now. Candler. And it looks like movement along the line. We'll see who this one goes against. This would be a huge boost for Lovett if it's against Manchester. And it looks like it will be against Manchester here. Dita will, so that'll move it five yards forward, set up a third and eight instead. And at the very least, it moves Lovett out past the shadow of their goal line here. So it'll be a third and eight from the seven now instead of a third and 13 from the two. Clock still ticking with two minutes left to go now. It allows Candler to work from the shotgun, and this time that'll be a false start. Well, one team giveth, and the other team giveth back, I guess. Movement along the interior of the line. Well, if you're loving, there's still a net gain on that play because it's half the distance to the goal line, so that'll move it to about the three-and-a-half-yard line here. So it'll be from the three and a half now for Lovett. They need to get to the 15 for a first down. So about 12 yards to go. Handoff here up the middle. No, keeper once again as Candler will take it just past the five. And with 132 left, a Manchester timeout here as they get the stop on third down and we'll try and get the punt back with as much time left on the clock as they can possibly muster. So it'll be a minute 32 before the punt comes up. Reminder to join the conversation about high school sports. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports, hashtag GSA football. If you're just tuning in, six to nothing, love at the score on a somewhat windy night here at Conley Oakley Field on the Lovett campus. It's my first time up here at Lovett, but I'll tell you, beautiful school. In fact, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but right on the other side of the field, there's a little bit of a creek behind the field, I believe, or uh, some water, uh, body of water back there. And always nice when you can get these games inside the perimeter also. Never a bad thing. Love it leading six to nothing, but punting from out of their own end zone here with a minute 32 left to go in the first half. A fourth and nine, well, say from their own six. Back to punt this one is Wynn Martin. This will be his first punt of the day, if I'm not mistaken. Punting for the Lions, number 18, Wynn Martin. Back to the Blue Devils, Damian Turner. Damian Turner lined up back at the 36 for Manchester. Here comes the punt, and it'll be right to where Martin was, but it'll take a nice roll, fortuitous for Lovett there, and will die right halfway in between the Manchester 49 and the midfield line. 
And that's where Manchester will take the ball back. They'll have a minute 18 to work with it here. Remaining here in the first half, six to nothing. Love it with the lead over Manchester in the second round of the double A Georgia high school playoffs. Nose of the football right on the 50-yard line for Manchester, which on their last drive started to get it going with the passing game a little bit more so. But their drive was stalled inside the five-yard line on a fumble. First play from scrimmage. It'll be a handoff and a pass, and is it intercepted? Yes, it is. That one is picked, and that will be the talented Grant Haley who comes away with the pick. His team leading sixth of the season. And Haley, and this is not a good sign for Lovett, he hurt himself on that one. Haley comes immediately to the sideline doing some shaking either his right hand or arm. And while the pick is a boost for this team, that is a costly player to lose. Mentioned before, Haley, really the star of this Lovett team. He has a good chance to play at a high level in college, and you hope he's okay. First play from scrimmage. Here's the snap. Taking balls. Comes to the near side. Jamison with the catch. Pass the 30 to the 32. And it looks like he might have gotten just back to the line of scrimmage there with a minute left. So they'll call it a second down and 11 now at the 32. 49 seconds and counting here, and looks like not much of a rush here for Lovett with the ball deep in their own territory. Snap taken with 40 seconds on the clock. And going down, a sack on the play at the 19-yard line is Candler. Candler is caught in the backfield by number three, Deltre Gamble. And that was Deltre Gamble who had the sack on that play. So Gamble with his first sack of the game. And it looks like Lovett will be content to let the clock run out here. And that's exactly what they will do. So Lovett behind a one yard touchdown run on a quarterback keeper by Willie Candler will carry a six to nothing lead into the half here over Manchester. Again, Manchester had their opportunities, a costly turnover, a costly penalty, couldn't convert a fourth and short. All those things uh, hurting Manchester during the first half. Love it having some chances too, but again, uh, unable to cash in on each drive and uh, coming out with just that six to nothing lead. So a close game after the first half of play. We'll be back for the second half in just a little bit here on Play on Sports. In the meantime, make sure you join the conversation about high school sports. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports, hashtag GHSA Football. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports. And again, for all the best coverage of Georgia football throughout the playoffs, go to WSBTV.com and make sure after the game you can catch highlights of GHSA Football Playoffs produced by Play on Sports at www.playonsports.com slash football playoffs. Once again, the score at the half, 6 to nothing. Love it with the lead. We'll be back in a few minutes.
And good evening once again, everybody. Welcome back one more time to Love It High School here. Pardon me, the Love It School. Don't want to short the school any there. We're at Conley Oakley Field. And just about set to get going here with the second half of play. Love It winning 6 to nothing over Manchester here in the second round game between Love It and Manchester in the AA Georgia High School playoffs. And we are just a few seconds away from getting back underway. I'm John Schwartz bringing you play-by-play -play coverage of today's game between Lovett and Manchester. And really the story of the first half was a couple of turnovers. Really one turnover in particular for Manchester late in the first half when it looked like they were about to go into the end zone, tie the game up. A fumble from inside their own, uh, pardon me, inside the Lovett's, Lovett five-yard line. Cost them some easy points potentially. And Manchester remained down six to nothing, and that's where we ended the half. The one touchdown of the first half is scored by Willie Candler, the quarterback, who scored on a quarterback keeper from the one-yard line. And we are set to go. Here comes the kickoff. Back to Turner. Actually, a little bit short there, up to the 30-yard line again. And again, we see Lovett not giving Turner an opportunity for the return there. Instead. The second half of play, first possession for Manchester will start from the 31-yard line. So first and 10 for Manchester from their own 31. For Manchester, really an impressive first half from the freshman Anthony Bell. The running back who looks strong, but really when the game starts to open up for Manchester is when they start to throw the ball, as Quintarius Prather had a nice first half. And Damian Turner as well, getting a couple of passes. We'll see what the strategy is coming out of the break here. And movement before the snap. Again, a little bit of a windy night, although I think it's much windier up here than it is down on the field necessarily. We're uh, broadcasting from up on top of the press box is a false start there against Manchester. So you might hear the wind whipping up against my microphone here. Again, it really, I don't think, is that windy when you get down on the field. So it'll be a first and 15 now from the 26 for Manchester. Handoff goes to the outside. That's Bell who gets taken down at the 29 and a lake flag thrown in. After the play, we'll see who that one goes against. It was Patrick Keogh who had the tackle on the play for Lovett and we'll see what the penalty is here. It is against Lovett. And it is a face, face mask, which isn't going to be that costly yardage-wise. It's a five-yard face mask, but I believe that will be an automatic first down. So it's going to be a first down and seven now for Manchester. And with the ball on the 34-yard line, Prather back under center. Split back Veer offense has run fairly well today. Pass comes towards the near side in the flat. Ball is caught by number 36, Jermaine Williams, and is finally taken down at the 38-yard line on the near side by Wynn Martin with the tackle. So 11.25 left, and it'll be a second down and three from the 38. Needs to get to the 41 for a first down. Love it leading six to nothing here. Second and three, two receivers split wide. Back to throw again is Prather. Now he'll tuck it and run up to the 40 yard line. They'll call it looks like about the 39 and a half. So that'll set up a third down and about two to go. So third and two is Corey Erdos had the tackle on that one for Lovett. So third and two from the 39. Big play here for Manchester in their first drive of the second half. 10.30 left in the third quarter. Prather under center. One receiver, two backs, big set. And the handoff goes up the middle and stopped at the line of scrimmage is Tavares Allman, who has had a rough day running the ball here. 
And that will set up a fourth and three. Looked like he might have gone back to the line of scrimmage. They say he does, so a fourth and two. And that will bring on a punt team here for Manchester. Damian Turner, the punter. So he's Turner working overtime today. Offense, defense, and special teams. He'll punt it away here with 940. Here comes the punt, a low line drive. Haley, who's back out on the field, waves everybody off. And the ball is down at the 23-yard line. And that is where Lovell will begin their first drive. They'll call it the 24, actually, and that's where Lovell will begin their first drive of the second half. So six to nothing, Lovett. They get the ball, 9.32 left to play here in the third quarter. A good first half all around for Lovett. They move the ball well, although again, at times, getting stalled late in drives. Empty backfield now. Haley comes in motion, comes near side of the handoff, goes to Haley. Haley will split wide, coming along towards the near side of the field and is finally dragged down at the 25-yard line, so that'll be a gain of one. A lot of running, not a ton of it forward there for Haley. So it'll be a second down and nine at the 25-yard line. Game time temperature started in roughly the mid-50s, but it's cooled off considerably since then, probably right under 50 degrees right now. From the shotgun, motion on the line for the quarterback, Candler. Haley comes in motion again, this time the fake on the handoff. Throw comes near side over the head of the intended receiver as Mitchell Marino, the senior, unable to get to that one, and that'll set up a third down and nine. Marino was open, but the throw sailed over his head from Candler, and this will be a third and long. Four receivers, one back now for Candler under center. And there, there's the snap. Pass comes on the slant and unable to hold on on the play was the receiver, Andrew Siegel, who got his hands on it, but was moving away from the ball. Candler trying to lead Siegel there, but the throw is a bit behind Siegel. He reached back, but couldn't secure it. And that will bring up a punt situation now for Lovett. As Wynn Martin comes in to punt this one away with 8.43 left on a fourth and nine from his own 25. Good snap, here's the punt. Nice high booming punt will be fielded at the 40 yard line by Damian Taylor and he's wrestled down about a yard behind there. They'll say forward progress to the 38 and that is where Manchester will begin their second possession of the second half. Tackling led by Levin Lyon, number well, 20, Jack Stevens. After the first half featured a pretty extensive running game for both teams, both teams have taken to the air here more so in the second half. Neither team with much success so far. Has a couple of quick possessions here. 8.33 left and Manchester regains the ball. Six to nothing, love it with the lead. First play, ball stays on the ground and just throwing it away is the quarterback. And it will be an intentional grounding here. So Quintarius Prather not outside of the tackle box. And no receiver in the area. He was being chased. Couldn't turn the corner. And it will be an intentional grounding. That's a loss of down. And a five-yard penalty. So second down. And I believe it should be 15 coming up here. Actually, it looks like Mark it back to the 30, so it'll be a second down in 18 if that's the case. Yeah, for Prather, again, I didn't see a receiver in the area there. He's making the argument, but... And he was right on that border being outside the tackle box there as well.
Well. So second down. And they actually back the ball all the way up to the 25. So this will be second down and 24 from the 25-yard line now for Manchester. Here comes the throw, comes near side, and the catch is made, but so is the tackle along the far side of the field there. Looked to be Anthony Bell who made the catch on that play. And moves the ball up to the 29-yard line, so a gain of five, and that'll bring up a third down and 19. Actually called third and 21 from the 28. So third and 21, 7.50 to go in the third quarter. Here comes the blitz, throw comes near side, deflected in the air. And an incomplete pass there, but boy, the gang rush came up the middle. And that one was knocked down. Wesley Anthony, the senior, got a hand on that one, hitting it up in the air. And Manchester will be forced to punt again. This time from their own 28. So Turner back to punt. Here comes the punt. Low line drive taken at the 35 by Haley. Haley makes one man miss, then cuts back up the middle of the 45, 50. Back towards the middle of the field again. Picks off the after turn burners there. As he cuts up to the 40, makes another tackler miss and darts forward inside the 35 to the 34 yard line where Lovett will take over after a very nice return from Haley. Runs the ball across the field before being tripped up by punter number six, Damian Turner. That was the punter, Damian Turner, the last line of defense on that play. Ball is spotted at the Manchester 33. So from the 33, the that's where Lovett will take over. With 7.27 left here in the third quarter. Second possession of the half for Lovett. Man comes in motion towards the near side. That's Garrity. It's a keeper here. Candler takes it up the middle past the 30. All the way down to the 28-yard line. So a gain of five on first down. That'll bring up a second down and five after the run by Candler. Play games five, it's second and five at the Manchester 28. Again with the way Manchester's offense has been at times today, if you're love it and you can get another touchdown here, you have to be pretty comfortable with your lead. Handoff this time comes near side. Nope, kept again by Candler. He's knocked forward past the 20 yard line. Actually stopped right at the 20, so gain of eight on second and five for a first down for Candler. And is tackled by number 24, DeAndre Mitchell. Candler is down at the Manchester 20-yard line, which means it's first and 10 for the Lions. So another big gain there for Candler, who's taking an increased role in the running game here in the second half. First and 10 from the 20, 640 left in the third quarter. Motion on the near side is Garrity. Two backs split on either side here. Now the fullback, Jamison, takes a step up. Here's the handoff. Comes up the middle of Winmore. Winmore forward. Past the 10 and towards the 5 into the end zone. Waiting for the call, and it is a touchdown. Arthur Winborn with the long run. However, a flag is back at the 17-yard line, and it will be against Lovett. It appears to be a holding at the line of scrimmage, and that will negate the touchdown. So that play is called back. A good run by Winborn. But with a little help from a hold... So the hold will negate the penalty, or the penalty will negate the run there. And instead with 6.14 remaining, Lovett stays up by six. 
It'll be first down and long now. First and 17 from the 27 yard line. And it looks like we'll get a timeout. This one will be taken by Manchester with 6.14 remaining in the second half. Manchester calls the first timeout. So Manchester takes the timeout. Reminder, join the conversation about high school sports. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play On Sports. Hashtag GHSA football. And as always, for all the best coverage of Georgia football throughout the playoffs, go to WSBTV.com. And as always... For live scoring and highlights of GHSA playoffs, produced by Play On Sports, go to www.playonsports.com slash football playoffs. Second half underway here at the Lovett School, Conley Oakley Field, and Lovett with a 6 to nothing lead on a first-half touchdown, scored by quarterback Willie Candler. As the Lions, with a 6 to nothing lead over the Blue Devils of... Manchester High School. Off the timeout here. It'll be first and 17 for Lovett following the holding call before the timeout. From the 27-yard line, Manchester's 27. Again, Lovett moving from left to right in the dark blue uniforms. Manchester in the white uniforms. From the shotgun snap, taken by Candler, looks to pass, comes in the near side, and that's the quarterback, Jamison, who takes it past the 10, where he's clobbered from behind on the play. But a big gain there. Quintavious Martin had the hit, but the fullback, John Jamison, with a big gain, takes it all the way up to the 8-yard line, and that will be a first down, a first and goal coming up here for Lovett. Six minutes left now. Here comes the snap. Kept by Candler on the option, and he gets nowhere. In fact, might have lost a yard as he stopped at the nine, so it'll be second down and nine now. Travier Bryant with the tackle on that one. Second down and goal to go from the nine. So second and goal from the nine, five and a half to play in the third quarter between Lovett and Manchester. Again, nobody in the backfield here for Lovett. Candler takes the snap, though. Fakes the handoff. He'll keep it. Cuts it up the middle to the five, down to the four. Tackle made there by number 24, DeAndre Mitchell. And that will set up a third down... And goal from the four-yard line for Lovett. Big play up coming here for Lovett. Could change the game here if they can get in. Six nothing. Lovett with the lead, trying to add on. Man comes in motion as Siegel to the far side. Snap taken. Candler looking to pass. Comes back towards the far side of the field and off the fingertips. On a little bit of a wide pass. That was Jake McGranahan, the receiver on the play. The Goes right just side. over his hands. For number eight, Jack and that will send up a field goal situation, it appears. As the kicker, Brendan McGowan, will come out. So McGowan out to kick. Missed an extra point earlier today. Set up all the way on the right side of the field from the near hash mark. Kick is up. And it is good. So McGowan hits the field goal there, and that increases Lovett's lead to 9 to nothing with 4.17 left here in the third quarter. So Brendan McGowan, officially a 21-yarder. 
to buffer Lovitz's lead. Again, another good drive there. Stall bleed for Lovett. But again, Lovett with it, somewhat of a commanding lead now. And what's interesting now for Lovett is that their defense continues to produce shutouts here. A reminder, it was a 27 to nothing win over Kusa in the first round. And they have followed that up here so far with a 9 to nothing lead. So, so far in the playoffs, Lovett has outscored its opponents 36 to nothing through a little bit more than a game and a half. Here comes the kickoff now. Goen takes it again short to the 27, and the fair catch is called there by number 36, Jermaine Williams, who fields it cleanly. No time off the clock, 417 left to play. And Manchester will take over, trailing by nine. Manchester kind of at a point here where they're going to have to start to try and uh, score relatively soon. They've had some good drives, although not in the second half, really, on two possessions. And this time again, stopped dead at the line is number four, Tavares Allman on the carry. Handoff to number four, Tavares Allman. Goes to the right. Allman picks up a yard on the play, so they'll say... Second down and nine. Again, Manchester's running game has shown spurts of being successful. But for the most part, it's been Lovett that has contained them defensively so far. Three down linemen for Lovett here. Two receivers spread out and two backs behind the quarterback, Prather. Prather takes a step back, looking to pass, comes towards the near sideline, his man had a beat. Along the far side there, that was number 15, Demarcus Addy, who had a step on the defender. That was Martin on the far side there. But the throw was just a step too far for Addy to get to. And so it's going to be third down and nine now from the 30 for Manchester. Three and a half left here in the third quarter. Snap taken, throw comes near side behind the line of scrimmage. And here comes the defense now, but a nice move cutting up field there by Williams. Williams now cuts past a couple defenders. He has a first down and more. He's still going. Finally dragged down inside the 40-yard line of Love. It takes it all the way up to the 37. There's a penalty down at the end of the play. But what a run there by number 36, Jermaine Williams, who took the pass behind the line of scrimmage, cut all the way to the other side of the field, and then cut around and cut all the way up. Not only getting a big first down, but getting into Lovett territory. It looks like there's a penalty at the end, and we'll see if that negates any bit of the run here late. Love it signaling that it's against Manchester. Not sure if that's factual or just wishful thinking on their part. And it will be a hold. It was after the play, however, so it is a first down, but that will negate a little bit on the end of the run. And instead of being down at the 37-yard line, it'll back the ball up to the 49. So it'll be first and 10 for Manchester, still on Lovett's side of the field at the 49-yard line. 3.14 left to play now here in the third quarter. Prather takes the snap, hands off, and met beyond, behind the line of scrimmage. It's number 66, Wesley Anthony. Devontae Davis, the one stopped on the play. 
But Wesley Anthony, who's had a nice day with a big stop there, knocks the runner back all the way to the Manchester 49-yard line. So a loss of two. It'll bring up a second down and 12. Two receivers split wide, two running backs. Here comes the pass near side. That's to Williams again, and he had some space, but slips and falls right at the 50. So he picks up the two yards lost in the previous play, but that will set up a third down and 10 with 2.15 left to go here in the third quarter. Third down and 11. Ball right at midfield. Third down, they'll say 11. for Manchester. They've converted one long third down already today. We'll see if they can do it again. One this drive, I should say. Prather, this time he's hit hard behind the line of scrimmage and brought down by about seven different players for Lovett. First on the action was number 55. Number that is John Coletti, who is the first man to make contact with Prather. Knocks Prather back to the 48-yard line. Bring up a fourth and 13 and another punt here for Manchester, their third punt of the half. Three possessions for Manchester, three punts so far. Haley back at the 21 to receive. He had a great punt return his last time. We'll see if he can do it again. This time, however, the punt is short, angling towards the sideline and out of bounds to the, the 25 and that's where Lovell will start. They'll actually mark it at the 24. Uh, that was clearly strategy there. Maybe not exactly a coffin corner, but they wanted to keep that ball away from the talented Grant Halley. Didn't want to see Halley kick that ball up the field again. And again, after that last return from Halley, who can blame Manchester for that strategy? So for Lovett, they will start at their own 24-yard line. First and 10, a minute four left here in the third quarter. Lovett leads 9-0 over Manchester in this second round playoff game of the Georgia High School playoffs. First play of the drive. Kept by Candler and he's taken down. Gain of about a yard to the 25-yard line. Second down and nine coming up. Winner of today's game will take on the winner of the Lamar County Benedictine game. At the half, that game was tied at seven. So all of the Manchester and Lovett fans with half an eye on that game. 30 seconds left to go now in the quarter. Snap to Candler. Candler looks to pass again. Comes near side. Wide open along the near side is Jamison. Jamison up to the 35, past the 35, dodges the tackle, and finally lunges forward to the 40-yard line. A nice gain for Jamison, and that'll be a first down for Lovett. 16-yard gain as he's up to the 41-yard line on the play. First and 10 from the 41. And that will be the last play of the third quarter. So love it with possession and with a lead. Nine to nothing. It's a two possession game as love it adds on a score in the third on a field goal. And the Lions a quarter away from advancing to the GHSA quarterfinals here if they can hold on. Nine to nothing. Love it with the lead over Manchester. Once again, folks, make sure you join the conversation about high school sports. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Play on Sports, hashtag GHSA football. Also a reminder for all the best coverage of Georgia football throughout the playoffs, go to WSBTV.com. And for live scoring and highlights of GHSA football playoffs produced by Play on Sports, go to PlayOnSports.com. Slash football playoffs. Love it with a nine to nothing lead as we begin the third quarter. Over Manchester. And again, love it yet to allow a point so far in the playoffs through seven quarters of play now. 
Hasn't been the best offensive game for Lovett today. But their defense has carried them along with some timely turnovers. So now, one quarter to go. Lovett will take possession now, moving from right to left with the ball just inside the 41-yard line, their own 41. Three receivers set. Two men in the backfield now. Lined even with the quarterback, Willie Candler. Candler takes the snap, hands off, it goes to Haley. Haley cuts to the near side, no room, will cut back. And now try and go up the middle, just dives forward to salvage whatever he can. He'll take a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll bring up a second down and 12. So a loss of two back to the 39. Tackle for a loss of one by number 16, Javier Bryant. Second down and 11 for the Lions on their 39. We'll call it a second down and 11. The ball halfway between the 39 and the 40. Again, three receiver, two back set. Fake the handoff, ball comes to the near side where it's caught in a nice run forward for the first down, still on his feet before finally getting wrangled down is Wynn Martin, the senior, making the catch and picking up the first down. Candler completes the pass down to the left. Well, Number 18, Wynn at this point, after that first down, if you're a love it here, you can start to try and wind some more time off that clock as this game goes on. And let's see if they can get that running game going here between Candler, Haley, and Winborn. As a player injured on the field here, looks to be number 16, Travier Bryant, as he will check out. Deontay Fitzpatrick will come into the game for him on the Manchester side. Clock starts up again with 11 minutes left to play here in the fourth and final quarter. Nine to nothing, love it with the lead. Haley doesn't get the handoff. Candler keeps it instead and dives forward past the 30 to the 29 yard line. Gain of seven on the play will bring up a second down and three. Tripped up by number six, Damian Turner. And safe to expect a steady diet of runs here for Lovett as they'll try and run some time off the clock. Second and three from the 29. Candler, the quarterback, taking his time. Now finally, Haley comes in motion, lines up near Candler. Candler looks back to the sideline. Audibles, now takes the snap, hands off Haley. Haley cuts up the middle to the 26 as he's dragged down. And should be enough for a first down depending on where they spot the ball. Indeed it will be. Yep, so first down there for Lovett. And allows them at least three more plays to try and bleed the clock here. 9.49 left here in the fourth quarter. Love it looking for their second straight shutout in the playoffs. Ball kept by Candler. He'll throw near side. Nobody there. Ball throws, falls in between three Lions. Looked like he might have been looking for Marino to make the cutback, number 13. But Marino kept running. Might have realized the second late that that was intended for him so the incomplete pass stops the clock with 941 left and a second and 10 upcoming from the 26 for Lovett love it driving here a first half touchdown scored on a quarterback keeper by Willie Candler a second half field goal by McGowan and a nine to nothing love it lead Candler keeps this one, takes it up the middle, tripped up as he crosses the 25 down to the 23-yard line. Gain of three on the play, and it'll bring up a third down and seven. Gain of three. Tackle made by number 28, Keon Thompson. McGowan has kicked a 41-yard field goal this season. He has 
It's his season long, although he has two field goals, 40 yards or longer, so he's kicked two around that range. So they're probably right on the outskirts of McGowan's range as we speak. Here comes the snap, kept by Candler. Candler cuts up the middle, finds some space. That'll be a first down and more as he cuts towards the 10, towards the end zone, and he's in. Willie Candler with his second touchdown of the game. On third down and seven, Willie Candler avoids a number of defenders and takes it into the end zone, and that might just about seal it for the Lovett Lions as their lead goes up to 15. 15 to nothing, Lovett with the lead. A beautiful run there by Candler, who I think unmistakably has been the MVP of this game thus far for the Lovett Lions. And he scores with 8.50 left to make it a 15 to nothing game. Now McGowan out for the extra point, trying to make it 16 to nothing. And he does. So the extra point's good, 16 to nothing. Love it with the lead with 8.50 left here in the fourth quarter. And it appears that Lovett might have just written their ticket to the GHSA quarterfinals behind some fantastic play of their sophomore quarterback, Willie Candler, who has rushed for his second touchdown of the game. Tonight's game marks a combined initiative of the Last week, the athletics department. It was Candler who put together a very nice game as well as he has been red hot in the playoffs. Candler last week threw for 81 yards and rushed for 82. He had a 24-yard touchdown pass today. He's been doing it with his legs. Won a short quarterback keeper, scored from a yard out. This one, though. Considerably longer run on a third down and a big play there for Candler. So now Lovett kicking off. This kickoff deep comes towards the near sideline and will stay in bounds rolling into the end zone for a touchback. So McGowan kicks that one right along the near sideline and it just hugs the sideline going out right on the in play side of the pylon. So Manchester will begin their drive from their 20. After showing some pretty good signs in the first half, the Manchester offense has really struggled here in the second. They've already punted three times. This will be their fourth possession of the second half. It'll begin with 8.50 on the clock here in the fourth quarter, trailing by 16. And if Lovett has, wants to have any chance to advance here, they're going to have to score and score quick. Rolling to the near side is Prather. He'll break into a run. Comes up the middle of the field. Slides at the 30 where he's tapped down. That should be enough for a first down for Prather. They spot it right at the 30. And it is a first down. So first down run for the quarterback, Quintavious Prather. Pardon me, that's Quintarius Prather. Takes the snap again now. This time, hands off up the middle. It's a fumble. The ball is loose and it's recovered. This time by Lovett once again. Second fumble of the game. This one was by Tavares Allman. The ball recovered by the Lions. And that might be the nail in the coffin here for Manchester. So Love It will get possession back again here. At their, at pardon me, the Manchester 34. They'll have first and 10. Coletti forced the fumble. John Coletti, the senior linebacker and a co-captain for this team. It was Wynn Martin, the senior cornerback, who came up to recover. And so now with 8.26 remaining, a chance at the very least for Love It to eat more time off the clock. Three wide receivers set. Slot receiver comes back towards the middle of the field where he lines up and takes the handoff. And that was number 34, the freshman running back Jay Harris, who powers forward to the 31-yard line, gain of three. 
Remember, Manchester already used one of its timeouts, so only two remaining here. And again, a bleed the clock situation right now if you love it. Leading 16 to nothing, 7.50 and counting to play here in the second half. Touchdowns in both the first and second half by this man. It's Willie Candler, keeps the Willie Candler, the quarterback, who takes it up the middle. And Candler once again with a gain there. Stopped right about the 30-yard line, so it'll bring up a third down and six as the clock continues to run. Well, as Candler's run from about this part of the field on the last drive. That gave Lovett a little bit of breathing room. This time he hands off, however. And cutting towards the middle of the field to the 25, down to the 22-yard line. Enough for a first down there is, again, the freshman, Jay Harris. So another nice run for Jay Harris. Harris has kind of become the mop-up man for this Lovett team. He had similar plays last week where he ran late in the game against Kusa with the team with a commanding lead. And again, Harris trying to just grind down Manchester here, picks up the first down as the clock stops with 6.53 left here in the fourth. Harris still in. Pardon me, Harris actually out. That's Winborn who takes it, runs forward up to the 16, maybe the 17 yard line is Arthur Winborn, the senior. Harris now comes back in, Winborn out. Pick up a five on the play there for Winborn. Second down and five from the 17 upcoming here for Lovett. Six and a half left to play. Second down and five for the Manchester 17. Shotgun formation now. Two receivers on the near side, two backs also. Handoff goes to Harris. Harris cuts through, comes wide open, and he will prance into the end zone for the touchdown. Jay Harris, the freshman, will add on to the Lovett lead. 22 to nothing, and the Lions have all but sealed this one with some quality running in the fourth quarter. As the confetti flies here at Conley Oakley Field. And Lovett knows they'll have another game coming up next week now, barring a miracle and a half from Manchester. Extra point goes through the uprights. 23 to nothing now the score. Extra point from McGowan is good. So best case scenario, it's a three possession game with just 6.05 left for Manchester. And again, that drive started with a fumble recovery by Lovett that they were able to turn into points. Again, the winner of today's game, and I think fairly safe to assume it's going to be Lovett at this point, will advance to play the winner of the Lamar County Benedictine game, also going on today. And again, that game was tied at 7 at the half. Please join us in congratulating Coach Busey, her coaching staff, and the team led by seniors, Broughton Berry, Julia Clayton, Mary Grace Easterly. Third rushing touchdown today scored by Lovett. Great season for taking the lives of that final level. First by Harris. The other two were by the quarterback, Willie Candler. So two touchdowns scored by a sophomore, one by a freshman as that kick goes out of bounds. And it will be Manchester ball at their own 21 to start the, well, the ball goes out of the 21, pardon me. And it will get marked up. So Manchester ball, their own 35 to start the game. Part of me, the uh, drive. On their own 
6.05 on the clock to start the drive for Manchester. And the Lovett Lions in position to advance here, leading by 23, 23 to nothing. A fantastic job by their defense. Has forced three turnovers, two fumbles and an interception. As that ball thrown wide by Prather, where it's caught. Prather completes the pass out to the left. Number 15, DeMarcus Addy. 15, DeMarcus Addy with the catch on the play and goes out of bounds at the 50-yard line. So a first down for Manchester. Prather again looking to throw, comes near side this time. That one is almost picked off. Grant Haley upset with himself, almost had his second interception of the game on the near side of the field. Pass this time Just the cut off side. the route there, and Haley six. stepped in front. Pass was broken up by number 10, Grant Haley. So that'll bring up a second down and 10 now from midfield for Manchester. I'll tell you, as impressive as Haley has been offensively this season, he's been more impressive on defense and special teams so far today in this game. In fact, I haven't seen him take a ton of snaps, almost no snaps in the second half at running back. Run there comes towards the far side of the field. Anthony Bell taken down at the 47. So gain of about three will bring up a third down and seven. We'll call it a third and six. Here comes a snap pass near side. Gets through. Caught by number 20, Cervante Ferguson. But he doesn't get very far. And in fact, it looked like he lost about a yard on the play. Back to the 48. Spencer Lee on the tackle, and it'll bring up a fourth down and eight, and no choice here for Manchester but to go for it, trailing by 23 with just under five minutes left in the fourth quarter. So a last gasp effort here for Manchester, split back. Two receivers lined up to the far side. Rolling out wide is Prather. Prather is still going wide. Trying to find an opening. Defense closing in. The pass is made and the catch is complete. And a first down there on a fourth and long. Making the catch was number eight, Devontae Davis. And a big play there to keep hope, albeit slim, alive for Manchester here. As the fourth down conversion... For the Blue Devils there. It results in a first down for the Blue Devils. It's first and 10 at the Lovett, 33. So now on first and 10, here comes the throw over the middle, and that time it's picked. Haley with his second pick of the game, and he'll slide down at the 24-yard line. The ball underthrown. Haley was there. He has his second pick of the game. His team leading seventh of the season. And just like that, Lovett gets the ball back. It is the fourth turnover of the game for Manchester. And when Manchester has gone in their drive so far today, they have had them stalled on turnovers. And another costly one there, although, again, this game worth the uh, risk there with this game somewhat out of hand as is. 23 to nothing to score. Love it takes over. Looks like we'll get a change of quarterback as well. Luke Hart now, the senior in to play. Harris, the running back. Hart takes the snap, hands off to Harris. Harris cuts up the middle and will stay on his feet as he cuts to the 27, maybe the 28-yard line. Gain of about six on the play. We'll bring up a second down and four. Clock ticking with under four minutes left now. Second down and four at 1128. 
Hart now under center. Actually in the shotgun formation. In motion is Harris. Hart keeps it. Avoids one tackle. Met by two or three other tacklers right at the 30-yard line. The ball comes loose. Number five, Luke Hart keeps the ball. And fights ahead. There's an extra yardage. Pardon me. Actually, he stayed on his feet. The ball did not come loose. Hart stayed on his feet and came to the far side of the field. And gets a couple extra yards, moves it up to about the 32-yard line, right on the verge of a first down, and it looks like they will measure with 3.05 left. And as they stretch out the chains, that is enough for a first down. So Lovett picks up the first down and the scramble by Luke Hart. Good job to get those extra couple yards at the end there. Fresh set of downs for Lovett. Again, Lovett leading 23 to nothing with three minutes left to play. They'll take their time getting on the ball here. Hart gets into the huddle. Relays the play. Love it comes out. Nobody in the backfield. Two receivers spread wide. Three receivers spread wide. As Harris comes in motion. Fakes the handoff. Going forward with the ball is Hart. Takes it up to the 39-yard line. Luke Hart carries the ball again. This time for a gain of about five. Tackle Actually, they spot it right on the 38. So gain of six on the play. Third, second down, pardon me. And four coming up. As the clock ticks closer to the two-minute mark now. First down here, and Lovett should be able to end the game on this possession. Snap taken, handoff to Harris. Harris barges forward up to the 41. That'll put him about a yard short of the first down. Set up a third and one here from the 41. Third down and one. Under two minutes left now. Again, if Lovett picks up the yard here, that'll just about do it. And they're going to get the first down, I believe, by way of penalty. Well, Lovett backing up now, so... Might have been a false start. Nope, I'm sorry. That is a uh, offsides there on the defense, and that will be a first down. And again, that should just about do it here. So Lovett gets the first down. Still two, ma two timeouts for Manchester, but I don't believe they're going to use him here. Clock runs. And victory formation for Lovett as Hart takes the knee. They'll have a chance to run the clock out here. So Lovett with their sixth straight win will improve to eight and four on the season. Again, advance to next week's playoff semi, pardon me, quarterfinals where they'll face the winner of the Lamar County Benedictine match also going on today. Again, that was tied at seven at the half. Meanwhile, a great season for Manchester coming to an end. Manchester will finish the year at 9-3. and three. This puts an end to a five-game winning streak of their own. And love it. Will head off the field after one final kneel down and let the clock run out. 23 to nothing. the final score here from Atlanta, Georgia. Conley Oakley Field is love it. Wins on their home field for the 28th time. 28 and 5 now in playoff games here at Conley Oakley Field. And a dominating performance for Lovett with some of their youngsters getting the scores. The sophomore quarterback, Will Candler, I think undoubtedly the player of the game, had two runs for touchdowns. 
The freshman running back, Jay Harris, had the third touchdown of the game for Lovett. So good job by the Lovett defense as well, forcing two fumbles. One in the first half deep inside their own territory. And the second, in the second half, right after Lovett had scored their second touchdown of the game, and two interceptions on the game for Grant Haley. So Lovett will advance with a 23-0 win today over Manchester. Want to thank everyone for tonight for joining us. A strong game here played by Lovett, and we'll see what they do next week again in the quarterfinals versus either Lamar County or Benedictine. Thanks again for tuning in, everybody, for uh, everyone here with Play On Sports. I'm John Schwartz. Pleasure talking with you this evening, and we will catch you next week. Have a great evening, everybody. Clean up by picking up your trash and your recyclable materials placing them in